Hi, I'm Paul Kasabian and I'm a structural engineer. And today is the first item of all the structural list of items that we're going to go through, which are cables. And if you remember, the list of items were more this example I gave of primary colours of structures, where you have a certain number of specific primary types of structure, let's say, but you can combine them in many different ways. And as a reminder, those were um, the cable that we're starting with today. Uh, arch, column, truss, beam, and frame. And the interesting thing about uh, cables is that they can do only one thing. They can carry tension. I've got string here as an example of a cable. So I can pull on the string, right? And the string now is in tension. That's all a cable can do. It can't take compression the way a column can. It can't take bending the way a beam can. It can't take torsion. It's the other one. It's, literally, it's not doing anything to resist what I'm, I'm doing to it. And it also can't take shear. And if you're wondering what some of those are, that, that doesn't matter because we haven't got to them yet. A cable, even though some people tend to think they're more complicated than others, it's not. It can just take tension. And when you've got a weight on, on a cable, let's say right here I've got this little bag of rice that's representing a weight um, on this piece of string, then the tension in this piece of string is equal to this weight of the rice. That's all it can be. Right? There's nothing else happening here. I've just got a vertical load because of gravity on this packet of rice, and that exact weight is going up this piece of string. And it doesn't matter if the piece of string here is this long or twice the length. It's the same tension. It's just the weight of the bag of string. And so what we can also do, and not just having a vertical cable, is to have, have this placed, let's, oh, let's, say, let's say placed down in the middle of a piece of string. And then where we've got uh, two sides of the string coming up, like this, we have not just the vertical weight of this, the rice going up the string, but we also have the fact that I'm pulling to the, to the side and to the other side horizontally, because that's what's allowing me to span the distance from one hand to the other. And we can take this even further that we're going to do now in a bit of a demonstration uh, of uh, adding weights to a piece of string to see how cables behave. Do you want to do your? Yeah. Go. Learning about cables. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. All right. So here we have the string in a V shape. And it's in a V shape because these two hands, either side, thank you, are pulling not just up against the weight of the rice, this little packet of rice, the little weight, but they're also pulling that way and that way. And they're pulling the same amount. Right there, so everything's balanced horizontally because this isn't going anywhere. So we have tension here and tension here. You can see I can twang the cables a bit. I'm using string as opposed to uh, as an example of cable. Now I'm going to move this over to this side, right over to here. Now, over on this side, we've got most of the weight here going up to this side, this support. And over here, there's a lot less, and you can tell that because it's a lot floppier, right? This bit of string. I love floppy. That's getting heavy. It's going to get heavier. All right, I'm going to add a second packet of rice, second weight. Let's see if we can make this symmetric. All right. Now, if we take it like this right here, we now have two packets of rice, two bits of weight, and the cable in the middle, the string, is roughly horizontal. Roughly. And that means there's this tension here is the horizontal force that they're pulling with either side. It's exactly equal to that. Mm -hmm. But then the tension in these two bits of string is higher. I know it's the same bit of string, but these sides, I know it's getting heavy, these sides are getting to be greater tension because they're taking up the weight of the rice up here and it's just the horizontal force. I'm almost done, don't worry. I'm going to add one more in the middle. Here we go. Hold it there. Hold it steady with your other hand. There you go, so it doesn't slip. Nice, because it's slippy straight. Now I'm going to add one more over here. And as you can see, each time I add the... Ooh, whoops. 
each time I add the packet of rice, the cable is changing direction at each one. This is the last one. We're going to, oh, nice. So here we have every single time there's a weight, the string, the cable, changes direction because it has to. That's the only way it can take the extra, the extra weight. Well done. And so now we've got something that kind of looks, if you think about it, a bit like the suspension bridge, like the Golden Gate Bridge. You know that one? Yeah? Yeah, yes. that's right. And the shape is called a funicular shape. It's the shape that a rope, a string, a cable goes into. You may know the song, funiculi, funicula, funiculi, funicula. No. no? Okay, it's a famous song. They wrote it about a cable car, actually a rail track that got pulled up by a cable in Mount Vesuvius. That's back when they did big songs about structural and civil engineering projects. Because people used to do that. Big songs about structural engineering projects. Anyway, funicular from funis, the Latin for rope. Um, it's a little bit of Latin education as well as structures. So here we go. This is how cables work in tension, changing direction as they need to. There we go.